I'm over in the shop for this one, and uh, the only excuse I have is my hobbies are developing hobbies. Uh, since I do blacksmithing and I do leatherworking, I figured I'd try my hands at making my own uh, clicker dice. So what I have here is one of the ways to make a die. Um, there's steel rule dies, and then there are forged dies, and this is steel rule. In particular, this is three-point steel rule. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on it, but it's actually labeled on there. And it has an already sharpened edge on one side. It's soft in the center, but that edge is hardened. So that makes it easier to bend. And I came up with this kind of weird device. Um, I picked up part of it from some YouTube video. Of course, I've added a lot onto it from there. Uh, and sort of made my own dies. That um, It's pretty much just a clamp that's made to, uh, when you push a lever down, it clamps into place. And then I welded some pieces together to make some dies. I welded a longer handle on it for more leverage. And Pepper is chasing <coughs> Pepper. <coughs> Alright, and my dog is chasing reflected light off of it. So. That's going to make things interesting. But what I have here is these dies um, can be changed out. This one has a set screw and a peg on it. This one has a peg that fits into the metal plate that I made the whole thing out of. And I'm going to bend that to try and match the grooves that I've cut into a board. I actually did this with a CNC router and made at least one major mistake. But we're going to try and fit that into these grooves by sitting there and bending it. And it's not particularly difficult to bend when you've got a tool set up that gives you a lot of leverage. I wouldn't want to try and bend all this by hand. does spring back some so you gotta bend a little bit extra but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit and work my way around get that into that groove take a scribe and mark where the corners need to be and then I'll be able to put that corner in with a different guy and I could probably do you know most of these um, a couple of these round bins, a couple of the, and go back and forth. But I'm going to go back and forth between each bin all the way around, changing dies. This one sticks a bit. The other die I have is this one, which is basically a wedge on one side. <laughs> This one should do my corners. Uh oh, technical difficulties. Gotta make that a little stronger. Okay, a little bit more amateur welding, and I managed to get that to hold up to pushing this rod in here. And it's, yeah, pretty much, I'm just going to keep doing more and more of this. I also feel like I need to clean my table off more.
Okay, so off camera I took this to the table saw and trimmed some off. I used a hole saw in the drill press to drill a big hole in the center so I can push stuff out if needed. And I took a little bit of epoxy inside there, just in case. Um, let's see if I destroy it the first time I use it in the press. So I've got some fairly thin leather here, about three ounce or so, which is what I use for coin pouches like this if I can. Um, and let's go ahead and see if I can cut a couple of them out of this piece. That was definitely a noise. I mean, it may not be totally professional, but it does seem to do the job. <laughs> 